Hello friends and welcome to another video today at Paul Sawyer Public Library. My name is Grace and today I'm going to show you how to draw and grow your very own rainbow. So to get started what we're going to do is we are going to take a single paper towel and we're going to cut about three inches off. So you can either eyeball this or you can use a ruler and actually measure it. I think I think if you do about three thumbs, like measure three thumbs, that's about three inches and cut it, that you will have enough for your rainbow. So take my thumb, one, two, three. So like right there, I'm gonna cut it down to size. All right. And it's okay if it's not perfect because we're gonna be sticking this in water and it's not gonna be perfect. So you're gonna fold it in half, long ways or hot dog style. And then your paper towel should look like this. Next, you are going to color each side of your paper towel about an inch up and going down to create a rainbow. I'm gonna start with red. Then I'm gonna go to orange. Then yellow. And a hint, a hint full trick, you want to kind of color boldly on the paper towel because more color you have, the better it's gonna move up through your paper towel to create your rainbow. We got green. Then we got blue. And our final color of the rainbow is of course purple or violet. All right, so there is my rainbow on each end. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's done. So what I would do is I would set this paper towel inside my jar on each side, just about, just barely in the water. And as you can see, over time it grows. So I did this one probably about five minutes ago. You can see it's starting to grow together. And then this one I did, I did this one about 15 to 20 minutes ago, and you can see how much it grew together. So what's happening here is the paper towel is absorbing the water, then it's reaching the marker color, and then it's trying to absorb the rest of the paper towel that's dry. So it pulls up together, and that's how you grow a rainbow. It's creating that rainbow, and all the water is coming together. So this is a really fun experiment to try at home. I highly recommend it. Um, yeah, if you do this, feel free to send in pictures of it. Maybe you want to draw something else. Maybe you want to draw polka dots at the end of your rainbow, or you want to use different colors. See if they work differently. Maybe a black and brown and purple rainbow is going to come together. See, see what it happens. So I encourage you to experiment and share those photos with us on Facebook or email us at grace at pspl.org and we hope to see you soon. Have a great day. Bye!